I don't know what they were thinking. They should right. know that. <laughs> 67 years ago, World War II was in full swing, and here in the Inland Northwest, the Davenport Hotel had a standing invitation to welcome soldiers during the war to nap here whenever they wished. Nice place to nap. Now in 2010, the Davenport is host to dozens of artifacts from World War II collected by locals. Caitlin Boldick is there now with more of what you can see there. Hi, Caitlin. Well, good morning, guys. And it, they didn't just house beds here. We're told that the Davenport has ties to World War II itself. The current owner of it and him, his father actually served in World War II, so they wanted to do something special to keep the history of World War II alive. And they've partnered with the Inland Northwest Living History Group. I'm with Nicholas here to kind of explain a little bit about what the hotel and you guys are doing to honor the vets and the people serving in World War II. Good morning. Good morning. Part of our goal is to preserve the military history and also educate the public. And we're working with the hotel today and put together a few displays um, for the public. Um, the case we have here today is more on the personal side. It's got a lot of um, ties to the local area. You know, almost 6,000 um, members here that lived in Washington lost their lives during World War II. And, uh, you know, we've got letters, um, especially one that talks about the end of the war and his feelings about that to his wife, to some of the items that they carry during the war, um, personal items. And of course, uh, the newspaper showing the uh, end of the war. All right, so for the people at home who can't really read that cursive handwriting there on that note, it says it's to Alice. Could you read that for us, Nicholas? Can you, can you read that? One of the first lines says, oh, happy days that the unconditional surrender of Japan was announced. And so he just goes through and talks to his wife um, just basically about his feelings about that. It's incredible to be able to preserve that piece of history and to share it with everybody. Um, what have you noticed as people come in and look at the exhibits? A lot of people are, you know, very happy about what we do. We get a lot of thank yous from, you know, especially the veterans. They really enjoy seeing this. It kind of brings them back to uh, what they felt in those days. Any particular piece of history showcase? I know that there's probably about three or four different cases here in the hotel that you think stands out above the rest. Um, really, you know, I think the personal side, the letters, you know, be able to see this as a local tie to a Newport family, and um, I think that's the part that I really enjoy. Absolutely, it's incredible, and it's available for everybody to see. We're told at least for a couple more months, you guys, all you have to do is come into the Davenport. We're on the mezzanine level right now where there's two display cases, but there is actually one downstairs as well, and we're going to take a look at that one in just a little bit, coming up at about 9.50, so you won't want to miss that. But right now, we're going to turn it over to Deputy Craig, who's going to give us an update on what the roads are like outside. Deputy, good morning.